hello hello i am back with another video and today the purpose of this video is to talk about survival in the wild <laughs> y'all see my little rap i got my rap ball today and before i begin this video i want to share that the other day i went to the store i went to the store to buy me some wraps a little beauty store and i was just shopping for wraps in the store and they had this man in the store and he said um hi to me and i was like hi how are you and um i thought he worked there but he didn't he was shopping come to find out for his daughter buying little bulbs and stuff for his daughter and he asked me my name we started talking blah 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 and i'm just buying just getting the wrap the wraps off the rack the all the colors that i wanted and he started helping me and this is one that he said that i should get he's like you gotta get this one here and you gotta rock it when you wear it because it's gonna look pretty on you and i really really like it i didn't think that when, when i was um when he suggested it because that it would be cute because you know it was hold up in a bag and i don't know it looked kind of bright but it got the little goddess of shoe energy colors going in it so i really do like it anyway we got to the register and um i was telling him bye and stuff and um the lady was telling me my total and he came up and he was like i got all our stuff so i got a whole bunch of little wraps from the man in the store y'all he blessed me with with some wraps so i think it's so cute and this was his favorite so Shout out to the man in the store. You know who you are. Well, I can give him my last name. He don't. He didn't subscribe to my channel like that. But you never know. He might one day see this video, and I just want to say thank you again. I like it, and you're right. This is so cute. This is so cute. Okay, okay. Stay focused. Back to the video. So anyway, survival in the wild is what I'm gonna entitle this particular video. And um. On this particular video, I want to talk about how we can relate how animals behave or maybe being attacked by an animal, avoid being attacked by an animal, kind of goes hand in hand <laughs> with how to avoid getting attacked by a man in the physical reality. You know, they have some women in the physical reality that that you know they'll they'll try to um, like stand up to a man so speak so to speak they'll try to tell him in so many words i wish you would or you not s-h-i-t or blah 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 or oh i'll go off on you you know you know that kind of woman and i understand the anger that's coming from them I understand that but on this video I'm trying to share with you all that in the physical a man can overpower you so be careful with doing that because a lot of times you don't hear even the ones the women that go out and try to you know hurt men intentionally or take from them a lot of times you don't hear when that man retaliate you know when he even got tired you know men have feelings too he didn't got tired and he didn't slapped her against the wall or something and or you know i'm not talking about abusive men here i'm just talking about just men just getting tired you know i'm saying to the women just be mindful that men you created man because of the physical strength <laughs> that was the purpose you know to be physically stronger than you are you are the intuitive one you are the softer vessel but your power lies in you being vulnerable more than it lies in you talking about you gonna go off on a man who could slang you against the wall <laughs> easily you know and i'm saying this to avoid maybe somebody who has a, a temper anger to work upon those issues, especially when dealing with men. I know we get upset and we hope and holler and to speak our truth, but <laughs> at the end of the day, you cannot physically hurt a man <laughs> like you might think, even if he's like this so-called weak 
maybe softy kind of man, he still has that strength. You know, just the other day, and I was really just joking with my son. I told he he did something, and I said to him, and this is my baby boy who actually is humongous <laughs> compared to my little five two self. I said to him, um, yeah, jokingly, I said, "You ever got? You ever had a fight with a lady? Something like that." In so many words, I said that. You ever had a fight with a lady? He laughed. He's like, "No." But I'm pretty sure it'll be easier than fighting a man. <laughs> and I just laughed and I just slapped him or whatever on his own. And but I if you think about things like that, even your children, if you have men, you know, little young men as children, you know, they have power. They are strong. You know? So anyway, let's talk about I like to watch little documentaries. You know, with the lions and the tigers and the bears and the sharks, you know, just animals. And you could understand human nature. Animals got it down back if you just watch documentaries with, with animals. And so to survive an attack, for example, oftentimes you have to be vulnerable. You have to be soft. So if you go in the wild and dealing with a, a, a bear or a lion, a tiger, or a shark, or anything like that, that could easily attack you, they'll say, walk slowly to escape the attack from a bear. Don't make too much noise. Well, in my videos about feminine energy, I, I, I shared that with you already that don't be so quick to walk fast and stomp. Walk gracefully. That's what a lady would do, right? And then to avoid another type of attack, it says to lower yourself. Like, don't stand over. I think this was like with the monkey. Don't stand over it. Don't hoover over it as if you're mightier than it. Get down to its level, you know? So that's like humbling yourself. That's, that's That sounds like feminine energy to me, you know? To avoid another type of attack, it says, create a distraction. That sounds like feminine energy because you have tears. <laughs> Get some tears to roll it down that face and that's going to be a distraction. But I, I just try, I just try so hard, you know, and I'm just, I feel like I just do so much, you know, I'm just trying to make things work and roll out a tear or whatever. I just, I just really want to be around you. That's feminine energy. That's your power to escape. <laughs> You got to think about this in layman's terms and apply it to yourself. That is your power unless you want to be devoured. Because you can't beat them. You can't beat them. You cannot beat them. Your power is being vulnerable, being soft. Being intuitive. That's how you escape, escape an attack in the wild. That's how you escape an attack with a man. Why are you being so mean to me? You're, you're such an animal. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get you back to the vulnerable state of being. Those women that try to go out in the physical reality and seemingly go off on a man or equivalent to those humans who go in the wild and the lion is there and it is his kingdom he's gonna devour you he's men they're gonna win all the time when it comes to feminine side but you don't never hear you'll see the like the lion tamer you know at the circus or whatever and how they can teach the the elephant and the lion and and everything that they have at the circus the little tricks and stuff you'll see them in their glory 
you see them in their glory. They don't ever, but they don't ever really talk about that moment when they almost got attacked. The only reason why I feel as though the lion and tigers and elephants at the circus are allowing that 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 circus master to be in that cage with them is because it is allowing that animal to get his ego boost see men are about ego animals are about ego so that lion tamer is gonna give that 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 lion his treat that lion is going to feel even mightier when he can do that which the tamer is trying to get him to do. You see? So this is really all about ego. And so those for those women that try to go off on men. And, and, and you know, they could be even a married woman. I know personally... A woman who say this all the time, so and so no better than to play with me, cause I'll go off on him, and I be thinking to myself, <laughs> really. But men in relationships like that, they rebel so much, and in secretly it's almost like they're saying, "I'ma show you." Secretly, I. I'm doing this secretly because of all of that rough stuff you be talking. I am man. <laughs> you know, it be about it be about ego, just like the, the I guess the lion a tiger would be like, I am animal. Hear me raw, you know? And so they'll do whatever in their mind and justify it logically. They did it because they had to show her who the man was. It sometimes just be as simple as that because you're not staying in your fem feminine role. You want to dip and dive as if you're the king of the jungle. And so a man will show you that you are not. They will show you by doing something that's going to make you be vulnerable. That's going to make you cry. That's going to make you submit. Hmm. That's going to show you that you are a woman. See, either you assume the position or some men will make you submit. Based upon the power that they know that they have in the physical reality. Hmm. And submission is the greatest power. I don't mean this in a negative way at all. I don't mean to just, in a sense of bowing down submission and worshiping submission. I don't mean just let them walk all over you, ladies. I don't mean that at all. But I do mean staying in your lane. And for those that say, oh yeah, I will submit for the right one. I urge you to change the language of that and maybe learn how to submit and be vulnerable just because of that being who you already are not just for the right one because what if the right one so seemingly comes around you when you are not exuding your feminine energy and and it looks upon you and see how you are behaving <laughs> that might be the very thing that makes them say well no her my question his his desire for you is what i'm saying so be careful with that i feel as though the perfect time is the now the perfect time is with the people or the opposite sex that is around you right here right now and even mothers that have children little boys you know not don't get this twisted y'all i'm only saying just learning how to be softer around them i know we gotta act as if we got everything in under control yeah as a parent 
But, <laughs> but being able to say maybe something like, I don't know, I, I feel scared. I feel a little nervous. You know, to your child instead of, I got it, you can't do nothing, boy. I feel a little overwhelmed. I really, I really could use, we really could use your help around the house. I could use your help around the house sometimes, you know. Just being a little vulnerable because <laughs> it goes with children too because I know me, like coming up, I rebelled. I rebelled simply because the elders in my upbringing felt like they, they just knew it all. Don't ask me why, why, because I said so was the terminologies, you know, the little terms that they were used back then. But they didn't. Parents don't have it all. <laughs> they We all are on a journey. Nobody ever going to get it. Because it's no end to get. It's a multi-dimensional universe that keeps expanding. So nobody really has the it. There is no it. And so children or, or younger people, they understand that about older people. But when we're sitting up there, I'm the parent. You're going to do it this way. Da -da -da -da. They tend to want to rebel just like this here. Just like what I'm talking about. But as the parent, if you... <laughs> can just like sit down and talk to your children just like when there's a little child you go up to the child you scoop down you hey would you like candy that that act alone will get you farther with the child than standing over it saying you're not going to get a treat until you eat all of your dinner. You know? The child will begin to sneak and go against the grain. This is human nature. Whether you're dealing with survival with, in a relationship with a man, whether, you, whether you're dealing with um, raising your children where they're not constantly trying to rebel against you because you're being so strong and you're acting like you're the king of the parent jungle or whatever. <laughs> it applies to every walk of life. Being vulnerable sometimes will get you in places that being Mr. Macho, I know it all. I'm going to go off on that ace. Will never allow you to be. As a woman, is what I'm saying. I'm talking to women on this particular video. I'm talking to the more hard women. It is my way or the highway type of woman. You find that in life that no, 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 you don't win that way. You'll find that in the wild, no, 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 you don't win that way because that a line coming for that ace. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to outrun it. You're not going to be able to fight it back. It will devour you. So, I really wanted to share that video. And maybe it's something that you could think about. The next time that you are yelling, throwing something, or trying to hit, or trying to take, or harm a man. Be careful with that because people, a lot of people don't come on here talking about what happened later after they went into the wild to try to go off on the lion. <laughs> this video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. All that I can say.